My name is Terry Basham. I'm a non-instructive lab technician. I do anything from metallurgical testing to helping with NDT stuff. I've been here for about a little over five years now. As a lab tech, generally, we begin the day looking to see what samples we have received from the night of the day before, what we have remaining for the rest of the week. And we go and process those samples and we look at what the what objectives need to be done, where they're at in the process of being tested, what all needs to be processed from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. And we look at whether we're getting them from strip splice, from the offline or the welders, whether we're gonna be qualifying the long seam weld programs, the whatever is the most priority that has to be done that day it becomes the primary objective. Sometimes we're just verifying the mechanical properties that we're looking at off the mill and we're working with the weld engineers. We compile all samples that we've, we've acquired, make sure we have all the burst tests, all the corrosion tests, all the manipulation tests, guided bins, all the mounts. We'll review all the mechanical properties and compare them to the PITP. We'll look at the requirements and if they're not in that, we'll basically have to go through and highlight that material, get into contact with someone in management or with engineering and notify quality and they'll have to go about sort of processing how they want to sort that material. If we have a problem with the mechanicals, you know, a lot of time we'll notify the operator that same day. If they can't figure it out, they'll have to get with engineering, maybe someone from weld engineering, get with the mechanical engineers to figure out if there's something going on on the mill and they'll have to continue to go down there from, from there. In order to be able to maintain that priority, we really need to be able to be able to communicate and listen and to be able to be detail oriented, to pay attention to, to where we're having problems or what things are coming up in the future and to be able to organize the way we process the samples internally, you know, determine what's the best way to get from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, the most samples processed. If I was trying to give someone advice on coming into the lab and doing what we're doing every day, I would say be ready to pay attention, be willing to learn, make mistakes, and try to get better every day.